Hello everyone and welcome to another filling portion of Engine Snacks. I'm Grandmaster Matthew Sadler and this dramatic position is from Berserk against Cheng, TCC Season 22, League 4. Uh, at the time of recording this video, Berserk is leading with 7.5 out of 8, so playing a really powerful tournament. Um, this is a three-pawn sacrifice in the Catalan, and uh, there's a lot of theory about it. And even this position, uh, played after Black's 16th move, is known to theory. Um, a correspondence game had preceded um, knight takes b5, c takes b5, rook d5, looks very strong, but then we get the, the, the little pin, bishop b7, rook b5, bishop f3, bishop f3, when uh, white uh, yeah, is going to pick up the rook on a8, and have rook and two bishops for a queen and knight, and uh, well, the black king is still stuck in the center. Um, yeah, very dangerous for black, but uh, in this correspondence game, black managed to draw. Um, Berserk played something different, something actually far more human, to be honest, um, because, uh, well, I could easily imagine playing knight takes b5 and then missing this pin with bishop b7, but rook takes d5 feels much more natural, and it's very, very powerful. So after e takes d5, we reverse the order. We take on b5 with a knight. And uh, obviously c takes b5, queen takes d5 is curtains. The king on e8 is stuck by the bishop on d6 and the rook on a8 is going. But okay, you know, the knight on b5 is there and we're threatened to come into c7. So Cheng defended uh, doggedly for a while. Knight a6, knight d4, bishop d7, covering all the points, queen a3. We were just getting into more and more trouble here. So uh, queen d8 was played, um, quite a clever idea actually, typical engine defense there. If you go queen takes a6, then queen b6 hits the knight on d4 and the queen on a a6. And well, if you're forced to exchange of queens, this is you know, relatively good for, uh, for black. But uh, rook b1 played by berserk, queen c8, and now a lovely move, e6. Just, um, uh, yeah, opening up the, the e file. Um, bishop b6 is, is really risky, having a pawn, uh, uh, a bishop rather, on this file. It's going to get hit by f4 to f5. So f takes e6 is played, which also gives the, uh, the king a bit of an escape route there. But queen f3 shuts it off. Rook b8 by uh, Cheng, offering uh, the uh, exchange. Anything really to get rid of this powerful bishop on d6. But Berserk again refuses. I mean, it's really striking how uh, how often Berserk, you know, rather than take material, you know, either does nothing or gives away more material. I mean, uh, at the moment, it's um, uh, it's the exchange and three pawns, you know, and uh, and uh, yeah, simply Berserk is still attacking. So King D8, Queen F7, in we come. Queen B7, Bishop H3, and now a lovely little sequence. Rook E8, Rook takes E6, again offering another exchange. And now the uh, the gorgeous point of it, bishop e6, bishop takes e6. And uh, a very, very uh, creative looking position. And uh, with a, a rather nice point, if queen takes f7, then knight takes c6 check is made. A very unusual mate. I don't think I've ever seen one like that. Um, the threat is actually also to play simply queen takes b7 and then knight takes c6. So black played knight b4 to defend c6, but... Um, well, uh, Berserk kept the uh, attack going. Quite amazing that uh, engines can find these sort of repetitions. Knight d3, uh, but then queen h4 check, g5, queen h6. And, um, well, uh, Cheng was uh, compelled, first of all, to give up this exchange and then, well, just find any way, really, to, uh, uh, to give back some material. Managed to exchange off queens. I mean, really, Cheng did incredibly well here. But after queen e1 check takes takes and bishop b5 um yeah white is clearly winning this pawn on c3 is funnily enough not dangerous we can stop it on the dark squares we can put a knight on e2 to c1 cover it with a bishop on f4 and uh well otherwise the king side pawns are running and that's pretty much what happened there h4 h5 knight b3 rook a2 g4 rook d2 h6 and uh the pawns uh soon queened not at all obvious to a human, I have to say. You'd be, get very nervous about these past pawns, but if it works, it works, and uh, it obviously did for Berserk. Um, I wish somehow that uh, uh, Berserk had finished this with a with a checkmate, but I do think that uh, that this is an absolutely beautiful scene. And uh, yeah, Queen takes F7, Knight takes E6 check is definitely one to savour. 
really powerful attacking performance from Berserk, not paying uh, any attention to material, just going all out for the initiative. It's, uh, well, joy to watch at the moment and uh, really looking forward to see what it can also do in, uh, in League 3 and higher.